Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have another AliExpress haul. <laughs> things have been coming in so, so quickly now. Like I'm getting things in like nine business days. So normally I accumulate and then show up, but I'm gonna fall behind if I continue to do that. So I'm just gonna show what I've got and everything will be linked down below as usual as long as it's still available. So first thing I wanna show you is this donut collar and I got this as a just-in-case purchase for my fur babies because it's always good to have something in case you know you need to prevent them from licking their wounds or their surgical scars or to prevent them from over licking whatever the case may be it's always good to have and I hate those plastic cones you know the the cones of shame <laughs> um, because the way that they sit on the cat's face, they impede their whiskers. And in case you guys don't know, cats use their whiskers to navigate. So when you have that cone on them, their whiskers are impeded. So they're literally walking into things. And I've seen it happen on more than one occasion with more than one cat. So this is brilliant because it's puffy and quite large. And it still prevents them from getting to their wound but they won't be walking into things because their whiskers will be free and they'll be able to navigate. I mean, that's how, you know, blind cats are still able to walk around with not as much problems as we would have because they use their whiskers to navigate. So those cones, I hate those cones. They're no good. But this, I've seen a couple of people use um, on their pe pets on Instagram and I thought it was such a brilliant idea. I got the large and it does open up and it cinches so that it's snug. I have tried it on both of my cats. As long as your cats are okay wearing collars, they'll be okay with this. My cats are okay with collars. They hate anything on their heads, but they're okay with collars. They didn't mind wearing this and it's perfect. I got the chocolate donut with the sprinkles. They have so many designs too. They have donuts, they have fruits, they have different kinds of foods, they have flowers so many different kinds they have different sizes so and i know that they sell them on amazon as well but they're like three times the price of what i paid on ali and so this is absolutely perfect it's still puffy and it's large enough that it's going to prevent them from getting to their wounds i love it sorry for the long description but i'm really excited about it <laughs> and then next these two things are non-crafty it's a kitchen appliance or kitchen tool and it comes compact like this but it opens up like that, it's like a pretty flower. I'm not sure what these are for yet, I'll have to figure that out, but it's basically a steaming basket. So you put this in your pot, and then you put the things that you wanna steam in there. And then once you're done with it, it just folds up like this, easy for storage, absolutely loving this. Okay, so moving on to the crafting items. First thing I wanna show you, I saw a couple of people hauling these from Hobby Lobby and of course I can't get to Hobby Lobby and living in Canada they won't ship to me so of course I went to my favorite selling platform AliExpress and searched for it there. I found them. I'm so excited to show you because I didn't think I'd be able to find these but they are the frayed chiffon ribbons. So pretty! So they are from two different sellers so you can tell here the ones that are tied up are one seller and then the ones with the little pins are another seller because I wanted, you know, the different colors. So for this seller, here so you can see here, I got three different kinds of pinks and look how much you get. Let me see if I can, there we go. So you get a ton on one roll. They are, I think, a little bit pricier than what you can find at Hobby Lobby, but again, because I can't get to Hobby Lobby, this is my best option. I'm totally fine with that. So here, I think they sent me two of the same color. One of them is supposed to be like a lighter pink, but I did contact the seller, so we'll have to see what they say about that. I got two greens, and I love this mint color here. And then here is like a mauve kind of pink. So super excited to have found those. Next, I have these heart patches and they're iridescent and you know me, if they're iridescent, I grab it. <laughs> so it comes in the yellow, white, purple, look at this pink, and then the hot pink and the blue. 
They're so pretty. And I think, and I love the scalloped edges too. And I think they come in a pack of 30. So I did just get a mix because I figured with 30, I don't need to buy, you know, specific colors. Next, I got these macarons and this is also a mix. And they're not charms or anything. They're not even flat bass because they're quite dimensional. But I can easily make them into a charm using a bale or even if I drill a hole at, on the top and use one of those tiny screw things. But they're so cute. They have little bows on top. And so I got a bunch of the hot pinks, a couple of the baby pinks, two different types of yellows, and a mint. And like I said, this is a mix, but I'm really happy with the mix that I got. I didn't get any blues, for example. So next, I found these bulldog clips. Now, I have been looking for colored bulldog clips ever since I did some clipboard embellishments for Valentine's Day. And I can only find like the big three centimeter ones, but I found the black in the two centimeter and they're like the tiny size, which I like. I thought these would be so cute for Halloween. Perfect size. I think this is a pack of 10. Next, I found this bubble necklace. Um, as you guys know, I buy these bubble bead necklaces all the time because you get a variety of, of beads and it's not as expensive as buying them um, as beads because they usually sell them for like, you know, 50 counts and they're like $20. <laughs> so this way I get a variety and it's not as expensive. I grabbed these two wooden beads. They kind of have like a pearlescent sheen to them. And they just are the two pinks. So, so pretty. For Halloween, I also grabbed these beads and they are the spider web. And I think these are 16 millimeters. Don't think they're quite 20. They don't look as big. So next, I just have these chains and I got them in gold, silver, and this bronze color. They are actually individual chains, which I really like. So they look like that. So they're perfect for making dangles and I just, I love that they're individually cut. So like I said, I grabbed the gold, the silver, and the bronze color. And then I also have some of these tiny little bows. They came up in my recommended and thought they were so, so cute. They're so small. They're actually meant for nails. I think for nails, they're actually too big. I don't know. I'm not, a, I'm not a fan of putting things like this on my nails, but for crafts, I thought it was super cute. So I grabbed this color in the two different designs. And then I grabbed the baby pink in the two different designs. And I grabbed the black in the two different designs. I really like this one. This one's super cute. And then I grabbed one pack of the iridescent mix. Here I have some more heart charms. Now I actually have hauled these before, but they were in a smaller size. These are the bigger ones and I absolutely love them. I'm looking for the hot pink. I haven't found those yet. But I absolutely love these charms and I was so excited to find them in a bigger size. So again, this is a pack of 10. And then we'll move on to the dies. Um, I will insert pictures in the corner of what everything looks like. So first I have these kitty cat dies. Now it's funny, I've actually hauled a similar die where the three of them are together. Like it's just one die. These are separate, which I thought was really cute because then you can just use, you know, one cat each kind of thing. And then I grabbed this kind of heart flower type of leaf die for layering. And then I have this layered rose die. And they actually come with three different roses here. 
and they have layering pieces for all three, which I thought was a really nice touch. Here I have a cutting board die, and I absolutely love the baking theme, and I, you know, I used a gingerbread man for some Valentine's Cupid mail that I did. How cute would a gingerbread man be on a cutting board like this? It's so cute, and it's got like a wood grain, which will cut into your paper, so I thought that was a really nice touch. Here I have a fan shaker die. So cute. I'm Japanese, so I'm definitely going to be using this for my relatives. And then lastly, I have these hearts. It's a set of four, and they're kind of like lacy, more for layering, I would think. And then I'll just turn it around so you can see both sides. Okay, so that was my quick AliExpress haul. Thank you so much for watching. As always, please stay safe, please stay healthy, and until my next video, have an awesome day. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.